Today is all about the Caribbean barbecue that's been knocked up just out the back of a children's nursery. Now, if you're into big portions and big flavors, this is for you. Kim. Hello. How are you, man? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for having us down today. No, you're welcome. Thank you for coming Night's nice Barbecue. I know we're in for a treat because I know you've been cooking for a long time. Yeah. And the smell, as soon as I got out of my car halfway up the street, you can just, it hits you, doesn't it? You <laughs> yeah, can smell it, does. it. It definitely, and the fan does a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Wafting it out onto the streets for people to smell. Yeah. Um, so I've said you're a barbecue place, but yeah. tell me a bit about what you actually do. What kind of food do you offer? Um, so we do the classics curry goat the cut down chicken the curry chicken and then we have the twist of the american barbecue the chops the wings the quarter chickens we literally make everything so all the seasoning on all the food we make down to the base seasoning so you've been cooking already this yeah, morning yeah yeah what, what time have you been here since um we started at six you've been here since six a.m yeah. cooking yeah out the back on your big smoker. yeah on the big drum can we go and have a look at yeah, your big we can drum? Have a look with drum come on okay. let's go <laughs> see you. your big drum Oh my God, look at the size of this, Rakeem. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Well, when you want something big, you have to make it yourself. <laughs> you, build, you built this yourself yeah, as well? Yeah, I built it myself. T talk me through how you'd go from preparing the chicken to taking it out. We season it up with our homemade seasoning, paprika, uh, black pepper, oregano, a few bits and bobs just to give it our unique taste. Yeah. So we're going to base now. We have here my big mop. <laughs> I think it is a mop as well, yeah. isn't it? We do this about four or five times. And then I guess that's adding to help keeping it succulent as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, it locks it in so, it do, so nothing dries out now. I'm going to try a bit of this, man. Mopping it in. I've never been serving with a mop before. <laughs> wow. That gives it the kick but still has the sweetness to it. There's a spice to it, but as, as you said to me earlier, it's not, it's not going to blow your head off, yeah. is it? We're in the middle of getting it bottled because we get asked yeah. every day, you got the sauce? And what's in the sauce? Can you tell me? Um, it's kind of top secret, but because my mum's watched me work and she, she pays attention. She said, oh, we're having a barbecue at the back. I said, oh, what sauce is that? Try the sauce. It tastes a bit familiar. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, I just made what you usually make for yours. No way, <laughs> so she's nicked your secret sauce. <laughs> Why is the someone's looking after the veggie for a change? Oh, he's he's last so to get much. anything. So what is it? A dumpling? Mavaki. Oh. Remember the old school cartoons like Pepe Le Pew when he follows his scent? Yeah. That's what's up with him. To you two, cousins then? Yeah, yeah. man, family uh, tree. <laughs> that's my big cousin. How's this cooking? Well, that's what I was about to say, yeah, car. Listen, I'm in here twice a day, so nice, I gotta come back twice. Flavours for all ages. Listen, it's taking on my wages. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get mates rates on my plates. It's vicious, but nah, it's delicious. Is that it? Yeah, that's Alright, sweet. You know what I'm saying? You can pay me later. <laughs> Let's go, look at this. Yeah, let's go. Where are we going to start though, man? Um, we can start with Aki and Kalaloo dumplings because there's nothing quite like them. Inside we've got what we call Kalaloo. It's like spinach. That's pretty special. Is, is this the sort of stuff that, that you grew up eating? Family yeah, kitchen? yeah. So my nana, her house was a kitchen. It wasn't a house. She went there, most of us went there to eat. But she didn't, she didn't just cook for us. She cooked for like, if there was 15 lads out on the front of the house, everyone's getting a wings. Are you seeing that there, Tom? I mean, look at this. Explain what a split is. Well, a split is a fried dumpling, what we usually have on the side of our traditional dishes. It's like a cross between a burger or a sandwich, but yeah. with dumpling rather than bread. What are you saying here, man? So I'll just yeah, fucking just go uh, in. Go in. <laughs> You're eating the fried chicken that's based with our own fried chicken batter. You, we, we put a bit of salad cream inside just to give it salad cream yeah just to give it that um zest <laughs> that my friend is absolutely <laughs> unbelievable i'll be coming back just for that without even trying the rest of it i know i'm coming back just for that <laughs> these pictures you've got all around the walls yeah so they're all like legends so they've all been at the top of their game in whatever they've been doing 
But one of these fellas up here, that's that's yeah. your family as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's my uh, my cousin, uh, my second cousin, Peter Tosh. And Peter Tosh yeah. was in Bob yeah. Marley and the Wailers. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you've got a very, <laughs> very talented family. Yeah, yeah. When you brought up in an area that's got things like Man United around, City around, the only way to do to become something is by actually trying to get there. Oh, the deluxe box. <laughs> oh, the deluxe box. So the deluxe box. It doesn't have everything we have in stock, but it has enough to. It's had a bloody good go at it. Yeah, you got pulled beef. Your flavours are unbelievable. All the meats is just yeah. cooked so perfectly, but the flavours so perfectly yeah. balanced. Quality of ingredients yeah. means a lot to you as well, doesn't it? Very, means more than a lot to me. In the back, we've got like, Mint growing out there, potatoes, pumpkins. We got a fish dish here. Yes. I wasn't expecting a fish dish. Well, I we don't know why. We do fish Fridays and we grilled the fish on the barbecue. Perfect. If I had somewhere like this, yeah, at the end of my road, I'd, I'd never go anywhere else to eat. Even when we're closed, we've got regulars who know we're shut <laughs> and still turn up at the door. And you really are kind of right in the heart of Hume here. I mean, we're, we're literally behind a nursery, aren't yes. we? It's, sort of, it's built onto the nursery, yes. you're part of the nursery. Yeah, so I cook for the nursery, so they, they don't miss. What do you food. mean you cook for the nursery? So I provide the nursery food. Still? I still provide the nursery food. So hang on, so, so these kids, the old nursery yeah. eggs, this is the sort of stuff that they're eating for their dinners. I hope none of my son's old nursery teachers are watching this, but the food was <laughs> disgusting where we went. <laughs> so we've got wings. This what, is... Sweet chilli? Yeah. And then we've got the barbecue. Yep, yep. <laughs> the, the barbecue sauce that yeah, I like. Yeah, the barbecue sauce. My new favourite sauce. <laughs> so have you got security cameras in here? <laughs> I do. Because that's, that's coming over. If that's missing later, don't check security cameras, whatever you do. So lamb chops. Yeah, I'll join you with the chop. All right, cheers, man. I think <laughs> it's, it's worth pointing out Ooh. that earlier, just before we sat down to film, some guy came in. I don't, I don't think he'd been in before. No, he's never been in. And then he saw the chops. He said, oh, what's that? He went out, he bought the chops, went out, ate them, came straight back in and brought yep. another portion. Absolutely loved them. Mm. That's <laughs> why, man. I think we can just stop talking now. Yeah, yeah, I'm done for a minute. Yeah, give me a minute. Yeah. <laughs> give us both a minute. Cheers, lads.